I'm going to tell you, uh, tell you a word in Tamil. Can you guess the meaning? I'll try. Abayam. 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 Yes. Ah. So first, I'm going to say. Uh, there's a word. There's a word in Malay which is really similar, really, really similar. <laughs> uh. Bayam. 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 What does it mean? Bayam means a type of veggie. <laughs> <Huh>? Veggie? <laughs> a type of veggie. Bayam. Okay. Okay, but I think you you you're gonna say bahaya, right? Yeah. Bahaya. Bahaya means danger. Danger. Yeah. In, in Tamil, abayam means danger. Uh, what do you think is the meaning of the word in Malay katil? Katil. We have the same word katil. <laughs> it's a uh, bed. Yeah. yeah katil. I, Okay. So what next, huh? what do you think? Where do you think this word originate from? I don't know, <laughs> but I'm just comparing the words because it's similar. But I don't want to talk about where it's originated from because so many people come and they did oh this word from there there they just fight in the comments. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Just compare. In Tamil, we have the word kovil. Can you guess? Yeah. Uh, I think it's gonna be quill means temple but let me tell you something hmm. uh, we have different words in malaysia we have different words for different types of religious place okay yeah for quill uh is for the hindus mm. especially only the only the, the hindus Hindu they go to the quill quill okay for the church they go it to the gareja uh, gareja uh, and then for the muslims they go to the masjid Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So See. they have different words for different. Yeah. I think places. Masjid is the Arab, uh, Arabic. Arabic. Yeah, maybe it's from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be from them. Masjid. Because in my place, uh, the Muslims also use Masjid, Mosque and Masjid. So uh, I think the Masjid from Arabic. Okay, that's fine. Next word would be Misai. I think it's the meaning of Misai. Ah. Again, please. Misai. 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 Yeah, yeah, we have the same word. <laughs> Misai, mustache, <laughs> mustache. We call it yeah. misai. So you call? Uh, we misai. call it misai in Malay too. Mm, Malay, okay. Yeah. Next in Tamil, uh, I'm gonna say I think it's familiar word. Rasa, raja. Can you guess? Yeah, it probably means king. Yeah. But in also in Thailand, also in Thai language, the Thai people call raja, raja right? Yeah, right, right, right. Ah. Uh, um, I don't really want to say much because I don't have a really deep ex understanding yeah, yeah, yeah. of the history of Malaysia yeah, yeah. Malaysia I'm sorry about that <laughs> uh, but in Johor I'm, I'm from Johor there are a few states Johor yeah Johor oh, so many Indians there I guess <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of states in Malaysia yeah uh, I'm not just gonna say Johor because I'm from there we have a king mm. we, it's roughly translated to king, but okay. we call them sultans. Mm -hmm. In Malay, sultan. Yeah, sultan. In sultan. Tamil, sultan. Sultan, but yeah. not sultan. We yeah. call what it sultan. Uh, is it, what's the translation of it in English? What does it mean? Sultan is the name of that particular king uh, uh, who followed Islam. Oh, really? Yeah, sultan. Oh. Uh, yes. Because uh, for us Malaysian, when we say sultan of Johor, mm -hmm. Sultan of Johor refers to the to the non-political leader of the state. When I was in high school, I studied about sultans because they also ruled uh, uh, India in the East. Yeah, right? in some time. From the Middle East, right? The East, yeah. Sorry. Middle East. Yeah, Middle East. The the sultans ruled Afghanistan, Pakistan, India. Yeah. So we have the name sultan, the the Arabic kings. Mm. How do you call when you have to pay fine? Uh, how do you call this term in Malay? Uh, paying fine. We have uh, usually in Malaysia, usually in Malaysia we call it saman. Saman. Just like in English we okay. call it saman. Okay. But think the word that you're trying to find is danda, right? Yeah, danda. Danda. We we in Tamil we use danda to represent someone like not doing anything just eating sleeping eating sleeping oh really because not uh, working 
Ah. Right, so we call it dandam. But uh, it original meaning is like paying fine dandam. You have ah, to pay. You have to pay. If fine, you make right? any mistake or like breaking the rules, you need to pay fine. So we call it dandam. Danda, yeah, yeah. Danda, danda, yes. bayar danda. But in Malaysia, Malaysia really just some something some Malaysia things. Uh, we say saman a lot. We say membayar saman, pay the fine, yeah. pay the fee, things like that. Membayar saman. Then denda is more like when we're speaking. When we're speaking, denda is more like uh, a punishment. Mm. Like you get denda from the teachers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get a punishment from the teachers yeah. and things like that. We don't say denda from the police even though it's technically correct but we usually just say saman s a m a n what airport uh, did you arrive i have flown yeah. oh sonabum or donmung donmung uh, you know sonabum airport i know i know there do you airport. know the the meaning of the name sonabum i have no idea so uh, in sanskrit sonna means uh, something like very expensive like golden things or maybe diamond <laughs> right uh sona boom boom is like boomy so okay. it's a golden land maybe in the past it was a good place good land for the agriculture and producing lot of rice so yeah. we call it sona boomy sona boom so do you have the word in malay boomy uh in malay we have the word boomy ah boomy u m i uh boomy would, would would mean the land yeah land earth yeah soil yeah, things soil. like that mostly yeah, I, we call it the land or the earth like the planet that we're living in so in tamil Bumi. we also use bumi to represent the land earth also soil the same meaning yeah how do you call a lion in malay a lion malay yeah we call it singa singa singapore yeah. represents the lion so we also use singam singam yeah. for lions yeah 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 singam singapore singa we we also have the singa beer in thailand yeah singha yeah, right singa yeah singa yeah singha but the g the g we pronounce it like singa singa ah. the g is just there it's mm-hmm. there but we don't ga we don't ga we use singam uh, for lion yeah for lion singam singa say singa we also call singam to call a man who is really brave like very strong really? if you beat two three men alone we call it wow this guy look like a singa means like you are a strong <laughs> yeah that's nice because you know the singa is the king of the forest right what about this putra what? yeah putra putri i think it's not pure tamil i guess it's sanskrit but we can talk about it yeah what is putra in putra, malay putra putra it's for prince ah prince yes for prince yeah yeah in ancient for tamil prince. we also use like the prince we call it like putiran putra means like the son of the king yeah but putra in normal life like once the once no more kingdom no kings we can call oh, if if you got the son you have like if your sons. wife give birth to the son uh-huh. baby baby boy you can call it oh i got the put, putiran oh. means you got a baby boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah putiran yeah for the princess we call putri putri yeah in say- tamil in tamil or sanskrit we also use put There should be putri or something putri rai putri. I don't know exactly. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> We have talked about so many words. So thank you so much for uh, joining me today, and I will try to find more words, uh, more similar words from Malay and Malay and Tamil. And if you have free time, we can make it one more video. <laughs> thank right. you so much for joining me today.